Ooh, I can fade out. Oh, I good can fade, fade out right there. Yeah. That was a good, good, that good was change. Perfectly timed. Yeah. Um, All right, we got the we got the audio synced up before this started. <laughs> yeah, we uh, so on our last live stream, we had to do some like troubleshooting of the audio live. We uh, we we saved you guys the um, <laughs> we saved you guys that today. So welcome to another live backcountry BSing live stream. We keep saying we're not going to do these anymore, but but they're fun. They're fun, and we were bored. It, this was a long week. This was a long week. Um, we'll do a recap here before we, we get into it of the current COVID situation where we live. Oh, um, we're talking COVID still. Just so, yeah. Oh, it's back. Oh, it's I know. worse than it was when we started this. <laughs> um, if you're just joining, if you've never been to one of these Friday live streams, we started doing this when the uh, coronavirus lockdown started uh, back in like mid-March. And we just did them every Friday. And then, you know, things got better. States started reopening. We stopped doing these. Now we're back to where we were in March and yes. we're not locked down or anything, but we thought we'd do a Friday live stream. Um, yeah, we're going to have, uh, I believe we're gonna have at least one person call in here. Um, yeah. excited to talk to some people again. We're, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we, we were doing that a lot on those live streams. It was pretty fun. So we're going to do that. I've got some more nutrient foods, probably going to try that live. That was fun <laughs> last week. Um, oh, and an update on nutrient foods too. It's you can buy this stuff online. You can. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the what I'll I'll shout it out. They are available. The number ten cans. Oh, that's a new thing. Yeah. If you're wondering why we're wearing Binford shirts, because um, we're sponsored by Binford. Go back and watch our call-in show where there was a dude that trolled us with home improvement references the entire time. It was it was, a, it was very funny. It was it was inappropriate, but very funny. So yeah. we like that. Yeah, it was very um, inappropriate. So we bought these shirts for six dollars a piece. Because we like, we're home improvement fans, <laughs> that's why we're, we're repping Binford right now. Um, um, if you up. want to buy our actual merch, we have really we have good merch. Go to uh, there's a link down there, teespring.com, yeah. and then put it on Instagram, and we'll repost it. And we will repost it. The shirt, the the merch is actually it's not cheap. No, uh, because we made like soft, high quality stuff. It's actually good. So if you go to nutrientsurvival.com, you can buy the number. 10 cans of the of the nutrient foods that we've been eating oh nice we got some pro barbecue comments yeah i know there might be some more of those coming (laughs) i can't wait till all the barbecue like enthusiasts so yeah tearing your video apart (laughs) yeah um they might but i i cooked it pretty i mean it was it was it was done properly yeah my response is who the f cares (laughs) the barbecue people are cool at least yeah if you're wondering why i did a barbecue video why not? Yeah. <laughs> I'd review marathons. We do, we do some weird things. My whole thing is if I'm outside doing it, it falls under the banner of outdoors. It doesn't even, we don't even have to make an excuse. We don't have to make yeah. an excuse. It's okay. our channel. We can do whatever we want. Um, <laughs> so, all right. So quick recap before we get into this. I'm, I'm texting our, our guest here. Yeah. Um, so we are in Ohio. Obviously the COVID situation has steadily gotten worse. It's not good. Um, I'll get you the numbers for the, Ohio. We had 1,600 new cases today, which oh, is the it. most cases we've ever had in a yep. single day. Yeah, uh, It's awesome. nothing compared to Florida, or Texas, or California, or actually a lot of other states. Yeah. Um, so that's not good, you no. know. Um, um, we have, in at least where Andy and I live, Ohio is one of the few states, actually, that does not have a statewide mask mandate. Oh, it's coming. It's, I don't know. Before we keep going... Let's get some drinks poured. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, we're trying two bourbons. You've never tried either. You've tried this one. Yeah, I'm not. This is the uh, Four Roses Small Batch Select, which everybody raves about. Everybody does rave about. I've never had either of these. Uh, I've had it. Well, I drank a little bit of this a a, a while ago. I don't think it's. It's okay. Is it? it, No. The the, the Four Roses. You hate this. Yeah. It's 50 bucks, too. 50 bucks is a top shelf. If you're getting that from the liquor store, that's a top shelf liquor price. Yeah. Yeah. I Like the Pappy was 50 bucks. Yeah. I don't think it's, I, I'm not crazy about it. Okay. But everybody, well, we'll start out with the McKenna. No, wait. Start, well, okay. Start with the McKenna. So we got McKenna 10 year. This is bottled is and bond, which to to everybody really raves about. Yeah. This is our first time trying it. I don't um, know. And I know I, I should have kept the cubes out so we can try it neat first. Should Just I dump them in there. That? Yeah. I got Death Star ice molds. Obviously. Yeah, 
there's there's going to be some space issues for this cube. That's fine. Just yeah, yeah. Two Death Stars. Okay. Oh, well, that's a fun sound. Cork is good. Cork's good. Yeah. We opened a bottle of Blanton's on one of these, and it was bad, and it was so sad. Yeah. I've never had real Blanton's now. We've only Ooh. smell good. Did you smell it? No. Oh, it smells really good. Vanilla. See, so here's the thing with bourbon. I never used to be into this stuff until like probably like three, four months ago. And now, um, first off, when it's, it's like kind of like wine and I'm not a wino, but like it reminds me of what wine would be. Like when you start trying all these different bourbons, you do start to really notice the taste difference between them. Um, all right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty good. That's tasty. That's really good. Yeah. What's the proof on this? Um, I, of course. Hundred proof. I'm lame. All yeah, right. I use, I'll I take. Use, I use an I ice cube. I know it's lame, but that's that's tasty. That's good. That's very good. You know, people. I've never. I have. I have another bottle of real Blantons, but we've only ever tried the soiled Blantons. But people say that this is close. This is really good. I understand why people uh, like it. Um, all right, where where were we? We were talking about COVID. Wait, our guest is calling in fifteen minutes. Just yes. got a text. Yeah. Um. All right, that's really good. So next drink will be the Four Roses. Um. Anyway, we got into bourbon, and we've been trying every live stream. We try a new, like, top shelf bourbon, and the the way we get these is there's no like special way. We literally creep on all the liquor stores. We know when the liquor stores around us get their weekly shipments of bourbon, and we, I like, I call them, and if they have something good, I just run over there and grab it. Um, so it's not like we know anyone or you know, any special stuff. We just, we just harass the liquor stores. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, yeah, this is this is um, this is good. Yeah, it's real good. It's it's smooth. It's creamy. A little vanilla. -y. It's got a little bit of bite on the back end. It's very smooth. Yeah. It doesn't have a ton of bite. I, I got a little bit of bite. A little bit. A little bit of tingle. A little bit of a Kentucky hug on yeah. the back. Mm. That's good. Uh, I was, and I was, I've never been like a liquor guy at all. Um, and I just do bourbon now and I do it on ice. So it's kind of like cheating. But once you get used to it, once you drink it a lot, you really, it goes down smooth and it has a good taste to it. Yeah. And I do find that, assuming you don't like rage on this stuff, like this stuff makes me feel the less hungover. Oh yeah, of yeah. all of yeah. the, um, yeah, of all of the. Where you just cr instead of instead of let's just crushing micro brews all night and then waking up the next day and just feeling oh, bloated. Or wine. And, oh. <laughs> you know, I do think liquor in general um, makes me feel the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still it's I still feel like shit, obviously, <laughs> but the less feeling like shit. Um, we had some questions here. Oh hold on. yeah, here I'll start. Well, there were some excellent questions <laughs> Joseph here. Joseph Schaefer. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> Debbie Dunning is pretty hot. <laughs> Ray Rains. Hey, a food bag questions. Hilltop packs size small or or large. Do you put your pot in the bag also? I should go get these. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure what. Well, get the. Do you have the small one right there? Uh, yeah, I'll get them. I, I would. I would not get the large. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna get the the one, the the medium one. But yeah. I think the, that's the large. No, the large is like is the pillowcase. Yeah, the face bag. I, I the large is is too big for probably like ninety nine percent of the backpacking trips that that we'll ever do, but the small size is great for like a one potentially two nighter. But they make the uh, he makes this intermediate one now. I don't know if he's had it before. Oh, do you want, us to, here, do you want the big one? Yeah, toss me the big, the big face bag. So this is this is the large one. I mean, this thing is a pillowcase. I, that's that's massive. That's massive. So I would probably small. avoid that one. Here's the small. Right here. So if, comparing these two, sorry, it's hard to see. It's it's like the flannel printed no, one. <laughs> we have so many food bags. 
it's okay. Oh. Oh, that's a, oh, here's the Z-Packs one. Oh, no, this is the Light AF. Yeah. Coming in hot. Oh, okay. Here's their, here's the Light AF. The, the, it's, I guess I'll call this a medium size one. I don't know what size this is referred to on his website. Here, give me the small one. Yeah, so. so if you compare the small, it's slightly bigger. Um, but this is like a solid, like two night, th- three night bag. We, we, we carried these with three nights of food in it. Yeah. So to answer your question, I would go with this one. I don't know if what size this is on his website. Um, here it is in relation to a bottle of McKenna. Tin <laughs> say, say you want one that's about comparison. one and a, one and a half sizes um, of a McKenna. But, uh, and if you're getting it from Hilltop Packs, you can get them to put whatever you want on put there. Put the SBO logo put on there. Put the SBO logo on there. Put whatever you want on there. <laughs> However, this bag is perfect for like a, an overnight or even two nights. And we do, we do, we do, we do those. So, yeah. but uh, this is kind of the standard one. Now on the seven night trips, no. if I'm packing all the food in one bag, I got to, I got to use um, that, light the light AF one. Yeah. And even that, it'll it's work, tight. but that's tight. God, we, I have five food bags. I know. Look at this thing. I know. You can fit a body in here. I know. <laughs> that, that's almost like a pack liner. This this is um this bag is sweet though. Yeah. He did a great job. All I right. Know. All right. Next one. All right, what we got? All right. Are you guys strictly bourbon or do you also like rise per chance? So we were just talking about this actually. Um we're not too deep into rise. We do have some bottles of rise. We will try some. Like bullets rye, right? I, I don't I yeah. mean, bullet has a rye. Correct. Yeah. I believe I've had the bullet rye. Yeah, that's what like everybody makes cocktails out of. I have uh, I have a really nice bottle of Angel's Envy rye. Supposedly it's nice. I've never what's, drank. What it. is the difference supposed to be? It's made with rye instead of but instead like, of corn. What's the like? It's um. I got some in this glass. I'm not a I'm not a good good judgment of this because i don't know much about it but it's kind of spicier it's kind of uh a lot of people talk about like a licorice black licorice taste sometimes okay so interesting we'll, we'll try it soon all right i've had the michter's rye which was okay all right um okay john says i'm just here for the music michael <laughs> kale said, sorry i'm going to miss your live bsing i'm, I'm out bar, bar hopping, hopping and drinking seven and seven <laughs> much love and respect brothers seven and seven is a good drink yeah wear a mask <laughs> it's hard to wear a mask when you're drinking well wear it go like this and then drink yeah okay um, you're here pour the bourbon already thanks got Christine. it um you know the whiskey knife hangout friday night starts at eight let's go whiskey knife. All, all right all right i didn't i have no idea <laughs> Andrew Sherman, Ola, uh, Michael Cahill, by the way, loved barbecue video. Yeah, I did a, um, I didn't film it, but I did a 17 hour prime brisket from, um, Costco. I put a picture on my Instagram. I didn't film it. It was my first time doing a, a long duration brisket and it turned out Andy had some. It was really good. It was really good. Andrew Sherman says, I like the pork butt video that you did. Uh, it turned out really well too. Dave Hernandez used less water. I don't know. When are you going to replace the Traeger with a real smoker? <laughs> Dave Hernandez. Yeah, it's an interesting comment because the Traeger, the Traeger does get shit on by the the smoking community as a yeah. a cop out way to smoke, and it's not entirely wrong to say that it is much easier. Andy's got a traditional smoker, mm-hmm. and I have a Traeger, and and I would prefer a Traeger. Traeger's much easier to use, but you could yeah you could debate which one. I mean the. I've never, I don't know. I mean, the, the the wings you smoked on your smoker the other night were really good. Yeah, they were good. Um, All right. Uh, we're getting killed. Dave Hernandez, we're getting killed down here in Texas. I know. Yeah, you are. I know. You are, dude. Sorry. <laughs> oh, stay safe. Cincy Web TV, which is Travis. Oh, Travis is in. McKenna 10, easily the better of the two, of course. Yeah, S- this is SA, really good. SA oh, oh, one. Wait, Becker. All right, we got our first one. Oh, you All gave right. it away. Yeah, sorry. Guess number one. <laughs> is it linked? Dan. Oh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Let me um hey, can I call you back? I gotta I gotta Bluetooth my phone to the thing. Can I call you back? <laughs> All right, bye. So uh we got Dan Becker coming. Um he uh I haven't he randomly texted me the other day and uh, I was like I, we, we, I was like I hadn't talked to him in like three months. Yeah. And I was like 
Um, we'll get you on the live stream, buddy. <laughs> so I, there's a couple things I want to talk to him about. There we oh. go. There we go. Hello. I got you, dude. Hey, Dan. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's going on, guys? How are you? Hey, Good. man. Good to hear from you. I know. Good to hear from you. We um we were just talking about how we haven't talked to you in a while. It's kind of sad. I know. It's been forever. Um, how you been, man? I'm good. Doing good, man. Summer's going good. Got a, uh, three trips under the belt since uh, the release of uh, quarantine. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's been fun. Um, how um, before I talked to you about your trips, how is the uh, how is the quarantine situation going up up there? Up north there. Um, I mean, I mean, everybody's still kind of cautious. I think, like everywhere else, you know, wearing masks and yeah. sanitizing everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah, is yeah, um, so. is is where you live? Are you guys still under any sort of lockdown? Um, are you no, full, are you fully really. reopened? Every, everybody's. Yeah, everything's pretty much wide open here in Wisconsin. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's a few places that are still kind of shut down, but like, of course they open the bars like super early cause everybody had to get their drink on. Right? Oh, that's so, the most Wisconsin yeah. thing ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got to get that new Glarus. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Um, so how, um, <laughs> I know. So if you're not familiar with Dan, he, he went on a pretty epic bike packing trip. I yes. want to talk to you about that. How? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, let's do it. Are you going to be doing more bike packing? Um, you know, it, it was, uh, it was, it was more of like a failed bike packing <laughs> attempt. It was my first ever bike packing trip. So I did a sponsored video, uh, an e-bike company reached out to me and said, Hey, we want to send you some e-bikes. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm kind of a backpacking channel. I don't really do e-bike stuff. And then it hit me. I'm like, you know what? I could try bike packing and let's do it with an e-bike. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. They sent me a couple e-bikes and. Um, yeah, it was nothing to do with the bikes. It was all me. So the bikes were awesome. I just, it was just like, it was like my first backpacking trip. You know, you just totally screwed up. Yeah. Where did you, where did you go on the trip? Um, up in Northern Wisconsin, I I always get the name wrong. I want to say Tuquamagon National Forest. It's way, way, way North Wisconsin. Uh, there's a, um, like a hundred mile, yeah, so you did like, like 100 tour day Chiquamagon loop. Oh, that's it's sweet. So it's kind of a popular bike packing destination or biking destination. So we were going to try to do the whole loop and then <clears throat> ran out of battery power, <laughs> lost some keys to the batteries. I mean, it was just like a, it was total, total fail. <laughs> um, and, and he's, it was fun. Yeah, but, I'd love to do it again. Though. But wait, do, when you run out of battery power, don't you just bike? <laughs> You'd think that. Like, <laughs> the bikes weigh 75 pounds. Oh, yeah, I, you're right. I didn't yeah, think about that. Heavy. Oh, wow. I, yeah. yeah, you're yeah, so, so right. It's, it's like riding. It's like when you used to like ride some kid on your pegs in the back of your bike. when you Oh, were little, yeah. You know? You've got that weight. Yeah, you're trying to go uphill. That's kind of what it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like you can do it, but it's not fun. Um, and I, and we were texting a little earlier today about, um, I don't know if you want to share, if you have any like epic upcoming trips. I don't know if you can go public with that. You don't have to. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's nothing not public. I mean, it's nothing to do. I'm headed to um, Utah. Well, I'm he- yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm headed to Utah again. I'm going to be doing <clears throat> Coyote Gulch. So I'm really excited about that in September. That'll be fun. After you told um, me about that. Guys from, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, you told me about that, and, and I didn't know where it was. I'm like, that sounds like a place that's in Utah. And then I was, I was, yeah, go- yeah, yeah. I was Google imaging yep. it. It looks really cool. Man, I want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be awesome. It's supposed to be, but it's, I guess it's pretty crowded. But um, I think maybe Devin uh, Ashby over at Backcountry Exposure is going to be coming with me again. Nice. And we're going to be hanging out with some of the Outdoor Vitals guys. Oh, and nice. So, yeah, so I think um, uh, Devin's got like some back route. He can avoid the crowds. And I don't know. He's, he's like a trip planning genius. I'm a terrible trip planner. I just, I don't do trips. I, I let other people plan them. Hey, our yes. Wisconsin trip, you planned that really that well. That was good. And that, and that was <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, yeah. And that, that was, was a fun. pain. That was a pain to plan. I saw you going through that, trying to figure out where we're staying and like all these people ended yeah. up coming. That was, that was good work, Dan. Yeah. yeah. You did a good job with that. Yeah. I, I was like, I'm glad I don't all have to right, do any right, legwork right. for this. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was a fun trip. We got uh, to do it again. I know. Um, do you got anything else on the docket? Um, yeah, my wife and I are going to be doing a trip here. Oh, really? Hopefully. Yeah, I know. She's gone one other time with me before I did YouTube. And uh, she, she, you know, she's like, I'm done. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you know, she's just not much of a, she's a camper. She's not a backpacker. Yeah, she's yeah, been yeah. like lately like, you know what? I think I want to do it. So I'm like, I'm like testing the waters. I want to see if the, if the, the YouTube world wants to meet my wife. They do. They they will. They uh, the videos sure we do. have with our wives are like our most popular videos. So that's a solid move on your yeah. part. Where, um, yeah. now, now where, where are you going to take her? I don't know. That's a great question. You got to take her somewhere easy. Yeah, no idea. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about maybe doing Manatee River again. I just did that like two weeks ago. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Andy it was and great. I have never yeah. done that. Yeah. That's like one of the few things that's reasonably close-ish to us that we've never done. And it looks pretty it's, sweet. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. We did, um, we were going to do the whole loop, but I had my daughter with me. She's only 11. Oh. And so we ended up doing the the Manatee River Trail side, which follows the river right on the river. And then uh, we got a company to drop off some kayaks for us, and we just kayaked like ten oh, miles. Oh, that's awesome! So, yeah, it was it worked out really really good because the the, the uh, North Country Trail side only has one water source. Yeah, on, like I don't know how many miles it is, but it's like ten fifteen, and you got a little kid with you. It's just yeah, it yeah, yeah. like, you know, 85 degrees. Yeah, we were like, eh, we'll kayak it. Uh, see, Andy and I have never done that. No, I just watched uh, Tim's video. They did it like a month ago or something. Yeah, and, and like, um, yeah, yeah. It, it just seems like the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are we walking or, or taking these bikes? I, uh, I would love to just like, uh, <laughs> yeah, at the middle point, hop in a kayak and go back. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. I, I'd only kayaked one other time ever, so. Oh, really? Actually, I didn't actually kayak it. Yeah, my daughter and her friend kayaked, and me and my buddy, we ended up canoeing because we had our gear. And I'm like, I thought I'd like oh, right. a dry bag from this company right. and you know, figure out how to get it in. And then I'm not much of a canoeer either. So it's like, holy crud, I've got like thousands of dollars worth of gear in this canoe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tip it. Is that is that but where Adventure fun. Archives flipped and lost all their camera gear? Did they do that there? Oh, really? Was that there? Oh, I didn't know they did that. I, I think no it was idea. there. Yeah, they, they lost that. a bunch of lenses Dan, and a uh, drone. Dan, I, I meant to ask oh, you. No. Are you? Yeah. I'm assuming you saw the Canon release the last week or so. Oh, dude. Are you doing yeah, it? The R5. I'm not doing. I'm doing the yeah, R6. I, I'm not doing the R. I was gonna get. I was gonna go. Really? Yeah, I was. Well, I was gonna get the R. I was gonna go. I was honestly gonna go full Dan Becker because you have the best lens, and I love that lens. <laughs> I was gonna go full yeah. Dan Becker, and I didn't know about the R6. That came out of nowhere yeah. for me. I don't know. They did they yeah. talk about that? I, anyway, um, I, I, anyway, they. I, don't know, I, I, I want it. Are I you? I, it. I thought. Like, you, I man. thought. I thought you were gonna go R5, baller. I, I, I do want it. I, I do. I'm I'm pacing myself because every time I see a new piece of gear, I just buy it, and yeah. that becomes a problem. I'm gonna so. get the R6 because it's only slightly more expensive than the R. And I thought about the R5, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not to Dan Becker status yet. Uh, yeah, whatever. but it's a sweet whatever. camera, other than the overheating thing. But I, I don't know. If, are you shooting things in 4K? I don't know if you are. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, so uh, I don't matter. have the. No. Everything I do is in 1080, and then I just I upload it uh, in the 4K upscaling, whatever YouTube yeah, does. But, yeah. You know, I, but then that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think it really matters. But uh, I, I, I saw that release, and I'm like, I wonder if Dan's going to. I'm like, I know Dan wants to get yeah. it. Yeah. No, I want it. Trust me. I want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so you're doing Coyote Gulch. Anything else um, on the docket? Um, no, I mean, no, I don't, I don't have anything like set as far as plans, uh, other than that and my wife at this point, or we're just kind of, you know, playing the, uh, the, the, uh, the whole COVID thing by ear just yeah. to kind of see what's going on. And yeah, so that's kind of, that's kind of, even though everybody's still kind of, you know, you're able to get out and do stuff, it's all the travel, you know? Right. So, are you, are you, um, like getting on planes and. I don't know what the situation is like there, but are you, do you think your kids are going to be physically in school? Oh yeah. That's a great question. We were just talking about that. Oh man. I don't know. So 
in like around here, they're announcing that uh, it, they just had a whole big like citywide board meeting last night. And the, the rumor is, is that they're just going to kind of just do it like normal. And they're really going to, you know, yeah, I don't even think they're going to require them to do math. Oh, even, that's a, uh, that's a, the, the that's Wisconsin a numbers are not bad. No, the Wisconsin numbers are better, but also yeah. Dan is unfortunately yeah. by the area closest to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my sister, my sister uh, right now has COVID. Really? Is she okay? Yep, yep, yeah, yep, she's they're fine. They're okay. Good. She's on the tail end of it. But wow. uh, yeah, she's, she, her worst day was like two days ago. And so she was like, it was like the worst thing she's ever gone through. So it's kind of really? makes you, yeah, you just kind of hit home. You're like, holy cow. Um, wow. I had a friend listen to this story. I had a friend of mine, he lives in New York City, and he had a baby in mid-March during the height of the coronavirus pandemic in New York City. Just wait, it gets worse. His in-laws came to visit him because they just had a baby, and they all had oh coronavirus. God. So he, God. he got COVID with a one-week-old baby. His wife oh. did not get COVID. So his wife had to take care of both a one week old infant and a husband that had a really bad coronavirus. And and he was in New York City during lockdown where you couldn't leave your house. That's awful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. So that was oh like my gosh. I was like, Oh shit. That sucks. I mean, oh, even if you don't have to, I mean, even just luck like if you're luck like God forbid you have to get hospitalized, most people are not getting hospitalized. But even if you yeah. don't, like it's saying, like your sister, you're, it's still apparently like he was, and he's, you know, he's my age. He's, you know, early thirties. He's like, it was the worst thing I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, what, what can they do besides give you a ventilator? I think, right. What, uh, like I got, mean, they've got, they've got like remdesivir. They've yeah. got, um, you can do like, they've got, they're doing plasma studies, they're doing right? plasma stuff. They're doing a uh, in, inhalation steroids oh. have been shown okay. to be, be good now. So the good, the good, you know, the, the good news is the death rate is going down a little bit because we're getting better at treating it. Um, but it's yeah. still like, it's like a roll of the dice, you know, which is kind of yeah. scary. And that's the whole yeah. thing about opening schools again is it's a breeding ground. Um, oh so my God, no, it's like, what's going to happen. I know yep. it's crazy, but isn't it weird though that like the norm is to walk around and see people in masks? Yeah. Like five months ago. Like, I know. You know I know. I mean? it's like, how is this normal? I know. And, and like, yeah. It's to the point now where it's really weird to me if I don't see someone wearing a mask. Yes. Um, Because I don't, because I I don't know, like you know, and yeah, and masks, you know, (laughs) masks are a political thing now. (laughs) God forbid. I know. Um, I know. But but like where we live, everyone's wearing masks. Yeah. Everybody. And if you go somewhere and someone's not wearing their masks, they get shamed. (laughs) Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, now yeah. we live. I don't know. Are you living in an area where the masks are mandated? Uh, no, no, no. There's okay. no mandates on yeah. masks. So I mean, there's certain stores that are like, yeah, you got to wear masks to come in here. But other than that, no. Um, we are living in a county that masks are 100 percent mandated, and it's Andy's Andy's putting it on right now. I don't know if you're watching we, the we stream. Never, we never showed this. Um, Z Matt from Z Packs sent us masks. Nicest dude. He sent us the Z Packs masks. Couple things. One. They're super like light. user friendly <laughs> and they're light and I like that they're adjustable, but you can't breathe through them yeah, really it's, well. It's it's they're, it's like it's, airtight. It's they're like nylon, but, uh, but it's got the Z. The Z it's it's got the Z Packs logo on the masks, which yeah. is pretty oh, badass. Wow. <laughs> How many other people have Z Packs masks? Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty it's, funny. Way too much. I know, right? Um, well, okay. I'm I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you guys are safe. I'm glad no one's got COVID. In the Becker household. Yeah. Hopefully you guys yeah, figure yeah. out the school thing. You know, it, the interesting thing to me is I never, and you know, Andy and I do not have children of school age, so we don't have to deal with this. But like, I didn't realize how big of a deal it is to not have kids go to school. It's a big deal. Well, here's the, okay. So here's the weird part. I, I don't know that anybody, in, I take that back. My son, my one son had, had a, was, was sick. We've only had one sickness in our house since Thanksgiving. That was the Not flu, right? Cold. You told me about the flu. Your son got a really yeah, bad yeah, flu, yeah, right? Yep, yep. Yep. He had something going on, and we quarantined him. And yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't COVID. Um, but you know, I mean, but that was literally the only thing. And so, I mean, if, if they were in school, oh my gosh, I can't imagine. Like my wife uh, teaches preschool, 
Uh-huh. And, you know, it, and so she hasn't been. And she's usually the one bringing home all the little kids' sicknesses. Yeah. Right. So, right. man, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like uh, this uh, social distancing has been a good thing for me anyway. Dude, have, have <laughs> I... I'm t- sick. I know. Have I told you the how I think I got coronavirus coming back from Wisconsin or at Wisconsin? I thought you got... Wait. Have I told you this story, Dan? No. Okay, so after our backpacking trip, I got... I've told this on the podcast before. I've, I got the weirdest cold, the weirdest cold I've ever had. It wasn't necessarily bad. That's the only reason I think it was COVID. It probably wasn't. Um, but I don't know if I got it like meeting nobody. Well, that's not true. Some people we were with did were sick. Yeah. So Jeremy was very sick. Wasn't he? Yeah, Jeremy was real sick. Yeah. yeah. So I don't yeah, know if I got it there, but also, I mean, Andy and I on the way back and the way there, we stopped all over the place. Yeah. We stopped. <laughs> we stopped at every liquor store. We stopped at Woodman's <laughs> in Kenosha. Uh, we stopped at Taco Bell. Yeah, we were going into yeah, I everything. Saw the, yeah. I saw the pics of your shopping. That yeah, Woodman's. Yeah, dude. We went to Woodman's. I, I still have frozen cheese curds from that trip. I do way. too. <laughs> um, and and I I got the weirdest cold that lasted like. <clears throat> that lasted like five weeks. It was bizarre. It was oh, unlike yeah. any cold I've ever gotten. So that's why, and, and it was at that time, you know, end of February, we now know that COVID was circulating in the Chicago, mm, yeah. in the greater Chicago area. It was circulating, not never, not really in Wisconsin, but uh, it was just the weirdest cold. Um, it was super weird. So it was interesting because I got back from that trip and I was like, I picked it up somewhere. I don't know where though. Oh, you got to get antibody tested. Well, it's been so long now that I don't even know if I still have antibodies. Okay. You know, I don't know. But uh weird stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um Well, I'm I'm ready to <clears throat> I'm ready to learn what these Ohio uh uh backpacking trails are like. So you guys ever uh, want to do another trip? <laughs> hey, we'll, man. We'll, we'll come to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you got cooler <laughs> stuff by you. <laughs> Um, you got cooler uh, stuff yeah, we'll, by we'll, you. We'll, we'll do, I'll do Manistee again. Yeah, I would really like to do that and and yeah. Not Manisty, but Chad has been blowing us up about the UGQ pool party that yeah, we had this past yeah. weekend. I don't know oh, if he texted yeah, yeah. you. I guess Jeremiah went. Yeah. Um, but I, I would like to go see him again. Yeah. I'd like to see you oh, again. Sure. Um, we miss you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dude. It was really good to talk to you. Sorry it's been yeah. so long. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll get it. We'll get there. Uh, we'll put some dates on the calendar it'll be fun all right man all hey right. hey thanks for calling yeah dude. thanks Dan. enjoy your friday you hey, stay hey, safe hey, yeah see you all right yep, see you too. dude bye. bye bye you know it's uh you know it's i was thinking you know he's he dan just said he was going to utah potentially with devin i was like i think it's september though i want to go to utah so bad and have devin take me fly fishing mm-hmm. are we ready to try this <sighs> yeah i don't like it but i'll, I'll have some. gotta try it um Dan Becker, mm-hmm. always a good. Uh, I saw Restless popped in the chat. I, you know, I uh, I tried to get Restless. I thought, I thought you were going kayaking. Yeah, I restless. just texted him. I said I wanted to get him to call in, but he's literally on his way to go kayaking. Interesting. It's like a spicy. Yeah. Oh, you've you smelled it. Oh, yeah, you've had it. Yeah. Always good to hear from Dan. Old DB. I'll go through some more questions here. All right, we got some questions. Well, comments and questions. All right. What we got? SA1, you guys need to hit the Whiskey Tribe. I've I've been watching, I've watched a lot of their videos, the Whiskey Tribe, yeah. for their reviews and stuff. It's They're pretty cool. Uh, Nicholas Harley says, did David Gray get you on the bourbon? He was part of it. And David and Travis. That's it, a, that's a great a great story, actually. Yeah, and Travis it, it, Travis's Cincy, Cincy WVTBB in the chat. So, so this, you can blame Travis for this. This is a this. good story. So <laughs> in February... Is that February? Yeah, we were kind of drinking bourbon a little bit. I wasn't, but I was going Andy back and forth. I was going back and forth with Travis a lot. Um, and Travis and David, we went backpacking with them, and we have a we have a video on our backpacking trip. We went to Red River Gorge, but before going to Red River Gorge, Andy and I stopped at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. And I'm a I'm a bourbon outsider. I'm not. It was my first time going to a distillery, um, and it was this was you know pre COVID, obviously. <laughs> It was awesome. I can't recommend the Buffalo Trace Distillery. It's the only distillery I've been to. We did the tour. 
we bought some of their top shelf stuff and that's when for me the bourbon and then we went backpacking we actually met travis at the distillery uh and then we all met david at the trailhead and then i got way too intoxicated that night <laughs> and super hungover the next day <laughs> I think we were drinking, I was drinking Weller Antique. Yeah, we were drinking Antique. Um, And that's when the bourbon thing started. So, so David and Travis, um, bad influences. Yeah, they got us into this. But then, but then it's like, then I, I was drinking a ton of beer and I stopped drinking beer and I still drink beer, but I switched to like a little bourbon at night and I really do. It's a good sipping on an ice cube. It's, it's a good sipping drink. Um, it's good. It goes down really fast though. And then, because I've been hanging out with him, I just had all these top shelf bourbons <laughs> and I wasn't like into it. And then I started getting into it and I was like, oh, it's sweet. I like have all these good bourbons now. Yep. But I, I will say Makers 46. Excellent. Is, is an excellent bourbon. For the price. And for the, the price and the fact that you can go anywhere and buy it. Yep. And then I started getting more into tequilas and I really like tequilas and I started getting some like top shelf tequilas and we might be doing some of that. On here, I still can't find. I swear to God, the door, the George Clooney tequila <laughs> Casamigas. You can buy it everywhere, but everywhere I go, it's always sold out. So I've been trying to get a bottle of George Clooney's tequila. It's supposed to be really good. I got the Rocks tequila, Taramana. It's very good. <laughs> also, Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad have a tequila. Everybody has a tequila, um, which is supposed to be good. And Michael Jordan has a tequila. It's supposed to be really good. But I mean. A very smooth blanco. <laughs> White tequila is really good. Yeah, it is. It's tasty. on par with bourbon to me. All right. Christine Conan says, What's the name of the taste test food again? That was Nutrient Foods. Nutrient Foods and they, they had um Nutrient Survival uh, they had something scramble that was like a breakfast. They had a th- a mac and cheese and a, a beans and rice type thing. Yeah. And they were all they were all excellent. Joseph Schaefer says, who does your artwork? Um, art. A local, um, a local graphic designer that we know here, here and they're, they're not like a person you would know, but uh, a local uh, designer here in um, Columbus did it for us. Yeah. Um, since he web, so Travis commented on the Hilltop Pags pack says I have the medium so is perfect I, three to four days. I think, I, I think that's what this is. I think this is the quote unquote medium. Wait, Travis, is that the one we sent you? I think so. Yeah. So we, we sent Travis and Davis, David Gray food bags, and we told we sent them this size. So if this is indeed the medium, this is a good size. I think that is. And, and of course, we put their faces on it. <laughs> we had some face bags made for Travis and David. Yeah, I'm going on their, I'm on their bear bag food bags. Oh, I haven't tried me. this yet. Oh, this is nowhere near as good as the mechanic. I know. These are the same price. <laughs> yes. Now, I will say this. This has more flavors, but this is this is this McKenna 10 year is 10 times smoother than this. Yeah. I but there's know. there's some more tastes going into this four rows of small batch. But this McKenna 10, Ugh. man. Yeah. It's this is good. really good. Yeah. That's why everybody Yeah. And good to me is like it's smooth. Like you don't taste it and feel burning in your throat. Some people like that. This is a, this, this is four a, roses burns. <laughs> it's a little too spicy. It it's burns. Not, need needs a little water and maybe. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. McKenna ten crushes. Yeah. Like we need to get some Eagle Rare on the rotation. Is it the medium bag? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Ethan says if you're if you if you're ever in New England in area, you need to come try Sons of Liberty whiskey. Sounds good. I've heard. I've heard of that. Joseph Schaefer says Scotch, McCallum. So we haven't, we haven't made our way to Scotch yet. I've heard, and I've I've, I've had Scotch before. Yeah, like we had. We it's had it different. Well, it's got. It it's is peaty. Yeah, it's peaty. It's earthy. But yeah. uh, I think we're going there. I do like whiskey. I would like to get into the nice whiskeys. Yeah. There's so much whiskey out there. And and whiskey has a You're talking like an American whiskey? Yeah. I like I mean I, I like Jameson. I know that's that's Irish, but um whiskey to me is a much more broad blend of flavors. Uh, whiskey is just is just a just broad term a, in yeah. general. It can mean so many different things. Yeah. All right. Dave Fernandez says the Angel's Envy rise heard, so good. I've heard that's All right, really good. Good. Because that was a hundred bucks for the bottle. 
Yeah, Andy's got some. Yeah, Ethan Schmidt says they have the whole wheat whiskey. That's yeah, I've heard that's good. I, I, that's probably really sweet. John Hawks, have you guys ever backpacked the Rhone Highlands of the um, AT? I we, just backpacked an overnight at Hughes Gap to nineteen. So East. we've been very good. close to that. Yeah, we were on the other side of Damascus. Yeah, we we did Grayson Highlands, which is very close to Rhone. Grayson Highlands is freaking awesome. Yeah, uh, looking back on that and the. Well, the topography and the ponies and the the eighteenness of it. Let's let's just be clear. Grayson Highlands was cool, but but um, uh, what's Mount the, Rogers? Mount Rogers is where the good stuff's it's at. It's all kind of the same yeah. to me, but uh, that whole area, Grayson Highlands, Mount Rogers, awesome, and I'd love to do Roan Highlands. Yeah. I know it's it's south of Damascus, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, J.K. John Kelly's in the house. Says, the he pork liked your butt, pork, pork the butt. The pork butt was great. Um, I may or may have not have bought a 7.5 pound exquisite pork belly. <laughs> it's in my fridge right now. If you're not familiar with pork belly, it's where bacon comes from. Um, uh, I might be smoking that. <laughs> I, I'm into barbecue right now. It's just, it's a great quarantine hobby, and I love smoked meats. And I got a Traeger, which makes the process much easier. I know it's cheating, but um, there'll be some more barbecue videos. Because why not? Yeah. I was uh, storely time says I was a bit bummed and we didn't get to watch the taste test after the pork. Oh, was that. yeah. And um, storily, I um, I actually filmed. I f- so the taste test in my household is so my wife is obsessed with barbecue much as I am. And I filmed her tasting it and she obviously loved it. And I and I, I will I will put those in the future barbecue videos. The wife taste test wife approved. Um I might film the smoked pork butt. I'm not sure yet. And I'll do a brisket at some point. Um, love barbecue. Yeah. Love it. I could talk. I could, we could have a barbecue podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Smicer's single malt scotch. We need to get into scotches. Every, yeah, that's where, the, that's where the real men hang out. Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> Ethan Schmidt. My town only has three confirmed cases. That's awesome, Ethan. That's awesome, Ethan. Good for uh, you. <laughs> Rob Wright. Uh, my, on, our on, town has a couple thousand. Yeah. Christine Conan again. It's mandatory to wear masks in Dane. Oh, County. so so Dane County is where Madison is, okay. Wisconsin. So I think that's I think that's pretty common in in very populous counties. So in Ohio, there's been no oh, the governor has not done a mask order statewide. He's done it countywide, which is, I mean, it's good. I mean, Ohio. We've got very rural areas of Ohio. Yeah. Um. That that like Ethan had like have two or three cases. So he's only mandating masks in the populous counties. We're in central Ohio. We're under a mask order. Andy and I have been wearing masks way before the mask order oh, came yeah. into effect. Well, it's like you even before the mask order went, went into effect in our area, if you were in like a grocery store and you weren't wearing a mask. It was weird. It was and weird. And people looked at you like, put a mask on. Put a mask on. I mean, you were socially shamed where you live if you weren't wearing a mask. Yeah. And, you know, Andy and I are not anti-mask people. No. So it's all good. Um, oh, Amy Routes here. Just tuning in. Almost Amy. 30. That's all right, Amy. I, I've been seeing her. Um, she's getting ready for the, the JMT. Yes. Yeah. She's going to film it, too, it looks like. Um, Ethan Schmidt, I'm in farm country, mostly old farmers who still don't know about mass guidance. Yeah. If you, I mean, honestly, if you're in a rural county like Ohio where you, you've got two or three people that have it and you're not ever leaving your house and people don't move around, you know, you can debate whether mass. I mean, Ohio has said... Effectively, in a rural county, there's no mask mandate. So it just depends where you live. Um, we live in a, in an inner city, not inner city. We live in a city, and masks are like 100 percent mandatory. Yeah, this is interesting. Anthony Coleman says, "Where I live in Australia, which is Melbourne, we get fined sixteen hundred thirty-two dollars if we go camping. If we cross into the next state, it's eleven thousand dollars. And if I try to get into my old so home state of Queensland, is four thousand. Is that a COVID thing where they don't want people? Yeah, moving. Oh, Ben's here. Yeah, you missed him. Um, scroll up. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, crap. Oh wow, we got a lot of comments. Holy crap! Okay. Ben, Ben from Hilltop Packs is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a wedding. Can't turn the volume up. Ben, I'm surprised ben, a ben, wedding exists. Ben, we're talking about your your products. <laughs> I am surprised a wedding exists. <laughs> Can't hear us. Ben owns Hilltop Packs. Uh, great guy, great company. Love um, ben. Ethan Schmidt, 75 pound bike, and I'm assuming it's a brushless DC motor and not a geared transmission. I have no idea Ethan, what you're you, talking Ethan, about. You sound like you know a lot about e-bikes. Yeah, we know nothing. I don't know. Um, 
Dan Becker is on the hook for louding his awesome lifestyle. Of Show response. <laughs> No, it was funny. Dan's like, yeah, yeah, I just got a company. They sent us, you know, sent yeah, us a couple like, e-bikes. Sent us a couple e-bikes. <laughs> not like one e-bike. <laughs> uh, sent us a couple e-bikes. <laughs> yeah, we're not to DB level yet. <laughs> I'd take an e-bike. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd go bike packing if they sent us an e-bikes. Yeah. Um, hold on. Before we move on. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Excellent e-bike story from the Colorado Trail. Mm. So we, Kevin and I had just, so it's on the Colorado Trail we had just walked down a mountain, just switchback after switchback and steep switchbacks. And we get all the way to the bottom of this mountain and there's a tiny little trickle of a stream and we're out of water. So we're, we're filtering. And this dude on a bike who's mountain biking, he's bike packing, comes the opposite direction and he's about to go up these switchbacks. And we're looking at him and he's on his bike. We're looking at him like, how the hell are you going to do that? And we're talking to him and he's like, Oh, it's an e-bike. I don't have to do much. It'll it'll just go right up there. Yep. We're like, oh, We're like, oh, that's cheating. <laughs> but I will say, those people that, bike pack in the Colorado Trail look like they're having a great time. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, okay. So there's some banter. There's some banter. Hey, hey, John. Um. First off, I don't check my Facebook messages, and I saw that you messaged me about Andy and I going on with you, and we will do that. I need to check my Facebook messages. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm not ignoring you. I don't get on Facebook ever. And when I do, I don't have Messenger installed on my phone. So John, just slide into our DMs. If you Facebook messages me, I just I don't ever see it like yeah. one every three months. I know you you message me back. Andy and I are down to, they want us to come on. Oh, I like I like being on other people's pods. Yeah, um, we're down for that, man. I'm yeah. not trying to ignore you. Um, appreciate um, it. All right, Ethan Schmidt. My parents were COVID testing. Were well, went to a COVID testing. I don't have my reading glasses, so this is kind of. We were given a ticket wow. number and we're waiting for text message before we get tested. Two hours later, they received a message saying they tested positive. They hadn't even Ethan, been tested uh, yet. Where do you live? Tell us where you live. I'd <laughs> yeah. be curious. I mean, Madison. you don't have to be like super specific. Oh, Madison School District just announced online only learning until October. Wow. So I, I do want to say, like, and Andy's going through the comments. Like, I didn't realize, like. The school system is effectively a taxpayer subsidized daycare. Yep. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah. People rely on that. People rely on the schools, man. And if you shut down the schools, you're, you're taking, and I'm not saying I'm pro or against shutting down schools, you know, it's just, it puts I'm, people in a bind because it puts people in a bind for, man. for their, for how they're supposed to work. But I mean, and we I, don't have kids that go to school, so it doesn't affect us. <sighs> but I never realized like if you shut down the schools, you're, you're really shutting, shutting a significant thing down. Yeah, this is so. Mudbone says this is funny. Is anyone making a Dyneema mask? How's breathability? I think, um, I think this is Dyneema. No, no, it's sill. But it would be awful. You wouldn't be able to breathe through Dyneema. Th this is not good for breathable. The sill is hard to breathe through. Yeah. But I will say the thing I love about this mask is it's adjustable. Yeah. It's like a cinch cord on the back. It's really cool, yeah. and it looks badass. Yeah, they need to be made out of like this, cotton. It, or this this Z Packs mask looks awesome, yeah. and it's got the Z Packs logo on it. It looks great. And shout out to Matt for sending us. Yeah, those. that's I appreciate awesome. That. Um, John says the entire state of Kentucky has to wear masks. <laughs> uh, Ethan Schmidt says, yeah, masking. Kentucky's under a ma a, a, a statewide mask mandate and Ohio is not. And Kentucky is a more red state than Ohio. So that, that shocks me. Well, that, well, that's because luckily there's people out there who aren't making it political. <laughs> And, and I think the COVID situation in Kentucky is not as bad as it is here. I could be wrong on that. I'm just shocked. That Ohio is not under a statewide mask mandate. Yeah. Anthony again says masks are not compulsory in Australia because we don't have enough. Oh, that's fair. Oh, this is funny. Sheldon says rye, rye makes too many people angry <laughs> when intoxicated. We're going to find out. <laughs> Let's fight. <laughs> I, I did think COVID was pretty much eradicated in Australia. Uh, um, Utah is amazing. You totally need to go. I hiked up Angel's Landing and winter camped in Zion. I need to get back to do the narrows so I've i am not narrows. going on to angel's landing because i have a fear of heights i've, I've watched people's gopro videos of <laughs> angel's landing and it's pretty it's pretty cool i mean they got they got handrails on both sides yeah b3 outdoors says how was the pulled pork it was good yeah. did you have any of that yeah you gave me some no that was the second round of pulled oh, i didn't pork. have the first pound. so here's a pro tip i smoked a i smoked a 15 pound brisket last week and what i did was i just 
just snuck a pork shoulder in there with it. Yep. Because if you're doing a brisket, pork shoulder, by the way, is like the cheapest, most efficient meat to smoke. It's like one to two dollars a pound. If you're smoking a brisket, just slide a pork shoulder. In there. <laughs> they smoke at the same temps. You'll have to wrap them at different times. But um, I did a brisket and a pork shoulder, and I gave I gave, not that the pork shoulder, not that you saw in my video. I did another one with the brisket, and I gave Andy some of both. Yeah. Uh, Travis says Russell's Reserve single and Knob Creek single very underrated. I've heard. That. I agree, and I have yeah. I have the I have a bottle of the Russell's special barrel select or something like that that was bottled for ohio uh oh jason from outdoor adventures is here i thought he was going backpacking this week kayaking i i was gonna have you call in man i thought you were going with restless i was gonna see if you anyway text me if you want to call in we'd love to hear from you um dave hernandez pork belly burnt ends ftw dude for the win dude Dude, Dave, you're a barbecuer. Yeah. I mean, you were ripping on me for using a Traeger, so I know you're a good smoker. <laughs> um, so, Dave, talk to me about pork belly burnt ends. That's, that is what I'm going to do. I call them pork pig candy, but I am going to attempt the pork belly burnt ends tomorrow. Let me know if you have any tips or anything for doing it. I've never, I've never cooked pork belly, so that's the reason, one of the reasons why I really want to do a pork belly on the smoker. Um, B3 Outdoors, airdrop a pellet smoker to your next pack. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Route's been getting into shape for the JMT. Yeah, Amy, um, let us know when you're going. I know it's soon. Oh, Travis says my workplace gets to test that three times a week. not surprise me. Yeah. John Hicks, I've been to Grayson Highland several times. It's great, but I did like the Roan Highlands better. The station at 19 East shuttled me to Hughes Gap. It was around 24 oh, nice. miles. We're going to have to but, check that out. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> oh, Poucher's here. Yeah, Cuyahoga Valley National Park. I've heard that. I have some great mountain I've bike I've heard trails. there's good mountain biking. Uh, the Restless One, I'm sure, can comment on that. Jeremy, heading to Cranberry Wilderness in a couple weeks. Loved your recent video of nice, your trip dude. there. <laughs> Avoid the north-south trail or at least the, oh, the western chunk of it. I couldn't imagine Cranberry right now. It's going to be even more overgrown and hot. And um, <laughs> if you are going to attempt that trail Take a GPS. or any trail, dude. Do GPSs. Um, use the hiking project or Gaia. Take GPS. Oh, take a backup, um, too. Oh, man. That was brutal. I don't, I, I, yeah. Jacob says the um, there's a super remote plane crash in Cranberry. Not yeah, well, I've heard about that. I've heard about that too. I'm in New England, but my parents are in Miami. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, New England um, seems to be doing fairly well COVID related right now. I think. Um, Nicholas Hurley says looking Miami is not doing well. <laughs> no, looking into the Arc Hall or Arc Blast. Should I go for it? Trips range two to six days. It just depends on how much money you want to spend. So, really. Well, okay, so. Two to six days. So the Arc Hall is just a bigger version of the Arc Blast. Right. Um, it's more expensive. It's lighter. Uh, if you're, if you're, it depends how big your gear is. Yeah. If your gear is really small, you could get by with six days in an Arc Blast. Oh yeah. Probably. Yeah, you could. I like having an Arc Hall. So I have two packs. I have a, I have a 40 liter pack and an Arc Hall. So I don't have to make that decision. So Arc Hall is coming on huge trips that are, five, six days or winter trips where we're taking a ton of gear. Yeah. But to answer your question, if your gear is small enough, I think probably go with the Arc Blast. Yep. Uh, Jeremy says Hyperlight Mountain Gear is making some nice masks. And he was nice. looking for him. I saw some, uh, I saw some, I, I'm seeing masks now on, on a lot of cottage vendor sites. Um, uh, okay. Let me see. Dave Hernandez, just follow Malcolm Reed's Pork Belly Dude, burnt end. Dude, Dave. Yeah. Dude, oh, I hold watched on, hold on, it. Hold on. The, you know, the second part of the comment is, you'll get fat <laughs> AF, but it's so good because <laughs> it's all sugar. So, <laughs> okay. So I don't want to see this too much towards towards barbecue, but I watched Malcolm Reed's pork belly burnt ends video, and I'm gonna fall, stick to his recipe. But dude, he puts literally a pound of sugar on them, and I can't do it. But I am gonna stick to that. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try. All right. Um, I think I think we're going to have frozen here. Okay. Renee Aaron, not sure if this was covered going to Red River Gorge soon. Does anyone know if people are wearing masks on the trail? That's a good question. That's a great question. So I'm not going to lie. We don't. Andy and I 
we went backpacking a m- three or four weeks ago. Videos coming out next m- next week. Um, nobody was wearing masks. No, this was in mid June when we had we'd been enjoying the post lockdown phase where the numbers were really low and nobody was wearing masks. But I think if you went now. I don't know if I'd hike in one, but I'd, I'd probably have my like buff yeah. and like throw it up. When we went to, um, when we went to right during quarantine, remember we went to uh, Vesuvius. We wore masks there for a tiny bit. Yeah. So um, we went backpacking in the peak initial phase in March and Andy and I wore masks um, and nobody else was. Yeah. Um, all right. We got a second call in. Okay. Mr. Frozen. All right. From Outdoor Adventures nice. is calling in. I want we'll have to get the skinny on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, can What's you up? Hey, can you hey. hear us? Can you hear us all right? Perfect. Yeah, okay. I'm on the phone though. No, obviously. you're good. You're good. I I did not um hold on, let me get you up on the screen. I did not uh I did not set up the video for you to be able to see us. I don't think Oh, wait. Can you see us? No, you can't see us. There's something That's weird. Not- no, um, I know you can't split the video. It's all good, man. Yeah, I didn't know you couldn't split the video. That's dumb. Jason, how's <laughs> yeah. it going, man? How are you? It's been busy. It's been really busy. Yeah? A lot of things this past 30 days, yeah. What's going on with you? Is that a new, is that is your that new house? Is that a new house? Is that a new house hey, I see behind you? Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Big, big house now. Yeah, we finally found one, so that's that's part of it. We, uh, within the past, Rook, Chris, eight days, we've we've got the other house ready for sale and moved into this one. So wow. Just- oh, so you have two houses. Nice. I have three houses oh, shit. right now. <laughs> I have a rental house that I've had for a while. When okay. The, when the housing market crashed, I, my parents helped me out getting the next one, but yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, when did you, when did you move, move into this one? Last week. Oh, oh. so you're fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I've been MIA from YouTube for so long. People are starting to wonder if I'm dead now. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm here, but I'll, I'll be back. So, <laughs> Uh, what's yeah. the uh, so and more importantly here, what's the studio situation going to be like here? Um, studio is going to be a work in progress. The man cave in here is it needs completely redone. But, do, you, do, you uh, like do you have to build one like your old house? Studio for a while. Do you have to build one like your old house? It's partially done, but they built it like so goofy. Like the ceiling is like like this, and it, it's just. It's with they're not the ceiling. The wall was all like that, and was, it, it, the furnace needs move. It's it needs some work. Okay. Oh, um, but the rest of the house is beautiful. How um is it? Is it bigger than your last house? Is it better? Like what's what? Good it, location. Yeah, good location. Why did you Why did you do this? Well, I won't get into that quite yet. Um, <laughs> we we uh, well, I'll get into it a little bit. We might have been um. There there's some family things. Yeah, going yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we needed we needed just uh you know another bedroom bigger house, um you know I'm living with two kids and Chrissy now so, yeah, large dogs yeah, so we just needed more room man yeah yeah um, we went from a I think it's almost eighty ninety year old house to a house that was built in two thousand two nice so, nice yeah. dude That's sweet do you have Ethernet jacks. There is one in the office. Okay, which I, it's, it's good. Cat Six too, which I was nice. Really, happy. really? Yeah. they were yeah. doing that in two thousand two. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mine are Cat Six. I love it, dude. You're gonna crush it. It's fantastic. My upload is like one fifty. I could upload like sixteen k. Well, what's funny is I had Verizon at the other house, and it was like eighty bucks for a fifty up, fifty down, which is like the minimum you could use for uploading for YouTube, right? Yeah. It's a gigabit here. Yeah, I got gigabit. It's fantastic. And it's the same price. It was five yeah. bucks more. Yeah, it's insane. It's like, all right, whatever. I'll switch. Yeah, you could up so. do like thirty-two k. Um, yeah. So you're, yeah, you're all sorts of busy right now with the new house oh, and old house. We're living out of boxes right now. Yeah. yeah. When um, yeah. you going backpacking anytime soon? Um, I was supposed to go with Restless. Yeah, kayak yeah. Trip. I was gonna text you to see if you wanted to come on tonight, and he told me you were going with him, so I didn't text yeah. you. We, I got in the midst of all this moving stuff in the past three days. I have a huge work project that's been like up until two a.m. most oh, uh, Saturday nights, and it's just we have uh we have the reason I didn't go this time is because um there could have been some work 
for you know some extra work that I had to do this weekend. Luckily, that's phased away. But we have what was it, eighteen people, seventeen people looking at our house right now. I didn't oh, want to miss. Them. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You got open houses, houses are like going yeah, up. And it's like crazy. Being sold the very next day, so that's what we're hoping on. Um, my house was in contract with. Well, we. We were in contract within 12 hours. Our, yeah, ours, ours sold on less than 24 hours, yeah, too. Yeah, Andy's, too. Yeah, uh, it's the housing market right now is it's, insane. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know if some of that is COVID. People, I don't know where, I mean, I don't know the, the regionality of where you live, but people are flocking to certain places based on this. And as you know this, as a new uh, a homeowner now, interest rates are insane right now. So yeah, we got to... We got an under three percent, like what? two. What? Did yeah, you do a fifteen year? Yeah. Okay. I was like, get out of here with a thirty year fix. Nice, dude. Yeah. Um Nice. That's awesome. Congratulations yeah. on the new house. Yeah, that's, that's a big sweet. deal. I'll feel a lot better once the other house sells. Yeah, yes. it will, dude. Yes. It will. It absolutely will. It'll just be a matter of how long it takes, but it'll it'll certainly sell. Yeah, it will it's sell. The seller's market. Yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously, this weekend got hosed for you. But do you have anything on the horizon? Uh, yeah, I got four trips. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Definitely in the works, but it's it's ninety one degrees right yeah, now. It's awful. It's, yeah, it's, it's not terrible. backpacking. That's why I was I was so excited when Restless reached out because he was I was like kayaking. That sounds perfect. Let's do it. And then I just did, I just didn't want to leave him hanging. So, um, have I have not talked to you since the Shawnee State Forest? Have you wait? Have you put out a video? I haven't been there. Something Wait, came up that time. Too. Oh, it's been, it's been something that's, that's it's right. Been something that's right. Week. Sorry. That's years. right. You're right. I knew about that. Um, are you planning on going back to Shawnee? Yeah, I will when it cools down. You guys kind of scared me. Don't off. go don't right go, now, dude. Don't, dude, don't, dude, go, don't go. Don't go. Honestly, we God, went. Don't go. We went in the late fall when the leaves were popping, and yeah, I think it's an incredible place to go then because you get vistas and views, and yeah. I thought it, I thought that was like I. I thought it was a great place then people were like, don't go there. And we went like the first week of November and it was beautiful. So I would, if you can wait that long to go, I would recommend going then I would not recommend going. I'm going to, what's cool is this, um, this place it's, uh, like I could go camping behind my other house, but it took, uh, maybe 30 minutes to get back there. Right up, right behind this house. There's, there's a camp spot. Really? Yeah. I remember you still, I remember your COVID stealth camping behind your own, your old house. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I'll be uh, probably filming that, giving a little channel update and probably sleeping in my new tent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw <laughs> that. <laughs> Have you told people what you got? No, not yet. All right, we, won't, we won't say oh. anything. Yeah, and we haven't discussed this move. You're gonna you're gonna blow people. You, you, mi- I can't wait minds. for I can't wait for people to get so pissed at you. People are gonna get so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I hate every single second. <laughs> I completely forgot you texted us that. Yeah. I only watch your I only watch your channel for the hammocks. That's a sweet tent, though. I've never like I've never slept in it. I've seen one, but that's a sweet tent. That'll work. I'm a little out. concerned about it, but we'll we'll see. Oh, you'll that's be fine. fine. After looking at it, this, we'll see. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah. Do you have any like big trips planned? Um, what's that? What the heck is that thing? Uh, it slipped my mind. Uh, uh, Foothills. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Nice. You mentioned that. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. You did mention yeah, that'll, that. That's my probably big trip this year. Um, that'll be sweet. So, How? Um, nothing, nothing crazy. Are you? I know you're. You're still. We can ask you a little. We've been talking to everyone about the the virus. You're still working from home, I assume. I am, and the the governor actually. I saw that. If you if you can if you can work from home, do it. So we were supposed to be in the office this this no this Monday, uh, and it's pushed back to August. I don't think we're going back anytime soon. I really don't. We um so Andy, our employer, they were going to start sending people back this Monday too, July thirteenth, and they pushed that back. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think they're sending people back till September, October. At the I don't, I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, I'm perfectly fine with yeah. that. We get more stuff because I use my own equipment here. You know, with the other place, I have crappy monitors yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, the second things the se- so when this all started happening, I was like, like in March, I'm like, we're gonna be back in July. Oh no, and we so were. I, I was like, we're gonna be back in May. 
Yeah, he was like May, and then and then when it and then when the when it was like oh shit, I immediately bought a twenty eight inch monitor. Like yeah. we both like souped up yeah. our work from home. I know. But but now I'm like I'm like, do I invest? Like I really want to buy a a new computer. But do I? Hey, two in? months ago was the time to do that. No, I know, I don't know. No, now's a good time too. Back to school. Mm-hmm. Okay. If we go back to school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah, because you so you live with school age children. What's the deal? What's going on with that? Say that again. Sorry, airplanes still are flying over my house. I say you live with with kids who go to school. So yeah. what has been the word where you live? Are they going back? There is a like. Was it a PTA me- a board meeting? Um, oh, so they're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, they're, yeah. yeah I, I just don't think they know yet. They're in the process of buying people or our kids iPads. Which okay. I'm not okay. Them, but we, we, just, were, we bought them Chromebooks just to get their kindergarten stuff done. Yeah. And the friends and stuff, you know. We were discussing earlier about how that's a like whether or not kids physically go back to school or not, it, that's a big deal. And I don't appreciate that because, you know, we don't have kids that are of school age, so it doesn't really affect us. But, like, that's a big deal. I mean, especially to, like, to the economy and to, to people, like, because you got to watch them when they're yeah, home. I know. It's not like, you know, I don't know. That's a big yeah. deal. I don't even know if you're aware of it, but our kids have to wear masks when they go to kinder care. I did not. I mean, yeah, that makes wow. sense to me, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't realize that. And I'm assuming if they have in-person schooling, they're going to have to wear masks. I just assume that. Yeah. Um, are you guys under a, a full mask mask mandate where you live? Yeah. Yeah, we are like too. <laughs> well, I know Chrissy's there. Yeah, I can hear. Her. Yeah, I can hear. Her. Yeah. Feeding yeah. like yeah. me Yeah, she's <laughs> she's coaching. She's coaching you. How's Chrissy? How's Chrissy doing? Hey, it's good to see you. Oh, yeah. Look, you guys even look like you're socially distanced. I know you don't need to be. I need to. (laughs) That's pretty funny. Um, Well, hey, hey, congrats to you guys on the new house. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, Congrats. That's awesome. Glad to see you guys are healthy and safe, and I'm excited for you guys. That's sweet. Um, Hopefully, we'll. It's the first time we've sat down in a month. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, right? Yeah. But I will, I will tell you, as someone who got a, a house in quarantine, it's a good time to get a house working from home because you can be home and like, you know what I mean? You can do stuff throughout the day if you need to. Yeah, in between meetings, yeah. Right, literally, exactly. Like between meetings, I was opening boxes. So like it was a good time to be like nesting in a new home. So I don't know, glass half full. But <laughs> hey, man, thanks for calling. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. anytime, dude. Yep. Hopefully, we see you in person sometime this year. I'd like that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Take it easy. All right, yeah. dude. See, see you, man. Oh, what a great guy! They look like a they look like a happy married couple sitting they outside. They are a happy married couple. <laughs> I know. Oh, he's a, he's a both both Dan and Frozen. Yeah, they're both super nice dudes. Yeah. Stand up dudes. Um, all right, we got any? <laughs> what do we got? We've been ignoring the chat now. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. A little off to- chicken Lord, a little off topic, but how do you break into the other burners on your stove? How do you that break they- it to the other burners on your, your stove? stove that- your fa- oh, it's a tough. Wait, I it's don't get tough. it. It's like a joke. I just finished section. Oh, greetings from Southwest Ohio. I just finished sections three to five of the Colorado trail. It was awesome. Dude. Yes. Super jealous. Yes. We I'd did. Be curious. How was it? We did two to six. Yeah. We did two through six. Yeah. Um, so you basically, you, you did, uh, you're in Lost Lost Creek. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Schaefer, what about Mid-State Trail, Central PA? Never done that. Lisa, 2020, the year of Fuck fluffy yeah. Kevin. Mike K. Mike K, what's up, dude? Made a six-pound spoon, spoon roast. What's on a ro- spoon roast? On, on the rotisserie for dinner tonight. Yeah, Mike. Do you know what a spoon roast no. is? Mike, what's a spoon roast? I might have to you're, Google that. You're perking my barbecue ears here. Simon chipped in, said uh, he was at Red River Gorge, no masks. Um, Interesting. I At least Red River Gorge is open now. It was closed for a while. Yeah. Crap, I lost my spot. Sorry. Uh, okay. 90 degrees mass don't do too well <laughs> right dude, 90 hard. degrees in a mass that sounds awful yeah i'm over this 90 degree shit people all right i don't know where you live in ohio we've had the most we've had almost the most continuous 90 degree days 
that we've had all summer. I'm over it. I'm done. It's too hot. <laughs> Our sister asked. What's your average pack weight for one nighter? You know, it's an interesting comment because sometimes on our one nighters, our packs are heavier. They are much so heavier much stuff. because we're like, oh, we're only going we're for a night. We're taking a steak. Yeah. We're taking <laughs> ice cubes. We're taking saw. <laughs> we're taking a saw. We're taking a glass bottle of bourbon. <laughs> Could be thirty pounds. Yep. Um. Okay. Okay. CG. There's a cat ten. What? Oh, ink blots. What's up, dude? Lady in the tent. Arcana's here. Yeah. Hey, Arcana. What's up, man? Hey, Ar- Arcana, you should be out kayaking this weekend. Yeah, you should. Oh, I'm headed to Kim Okay. Jiu- uh, to kayak okay, camping. he's going oh, kayak camping. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh you got to scroll up. <laughs> I know. It's great. Always. <laughs> Uh, send the kids back to school, CG. Sandra, send the kids back to dude. I mean, as a parent, I mean, I'm not a parent with school age kids, but if you're a parent with school age kids, like, I get it, man. Yeah. Um, B3, do oh, this is funny. Um, do you have do, sweet, sweet home, home defense, defense setups? setups? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes, we do. We do. CD. In <laughs> fact, I could use a little bit more home defense. We, yeah. You could always yeah. use a little bit more yeah. home defense. Setups. We're strapped. <laughs> it's a pandemic recession. <laughs> Come on. Got to protect yourself. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Outdoors team here running to air conditioner. Oh. <laughs> Frozen's running. Running. Uh, Two AC units. That, that's how you know you have a big house. You got. Yeah. You got. If you got dual zone AC frozen. Oh, you got a big t- house. Take it down to fifty. <laughs> Andrew Sherman, it's hundred degrees in Texas. <laughs> Listen, I feel for you in Texas, man. Listen, Texas, you got a lot of people, and so you got a lot of coronavirus. Yeah. And wearing masks in hundred degrees, dude. I would just sit in my house. The Texas <laughs> numbers are so bad right now, too. I would just not be leaving my house. <laughs> yeah. I just wouldn't get 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 some barbecue on the back patio. Okay, so I have um here's some funny story about Texas. I have some coworkers in Texas, and um, I know a lot of people from work in Texas, and they were telling me today that there's a uh like a a a, re, a fast food chain called Taco Cabana. Have you ever heard of that? No, I haven't. And uh, they have to go margaritas through drive through, and they're two dollars each. What? Yes, they're two dollars each, and apparently. There's now more selections of of to go margaritas in the drive through than there is food. Hey, listen, yeah. listen, people. <laughs> that is a great idea. The coronavirus pandemic, while being awful, has done some things that I I, I hope we continue doing. Yeah. One of them is drive through booze. Yes. Let's just keep that to go booze. and take out booze from restaurants. Let's just keep that. Yes. There's some been some good things. Yep. People generally staying the hell away from me. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep that going. We we could find a we could find a, like a little bourbon bar and like take one shot of Blanton's to go. Yeah, <laughs> I think to go alcohol is fantastic. Just don't drink it while you're driving. Yes, absolutely. Why haven't we been able to do that? Oh, Mike says it's sirloin it's beef. Sirloin beef. Mm. Oh, top sirloin. Okay, Mike K. I love it. Zach says there was a big theory about AT, PCT, CDT through hikers shifting to the CT with COVID. Surprisingly, it was really quiet. That's interesting. Yeah. I I believe both of those, the PCT and AT are both open again now. Are they? There might be some state by state things. I think they're both open. Oh, Frozen says he has his AC unit is running in his old house and his AC unit is his new house. Oh, that electric electric bill though. He's got a refrigerator, two houses. (laughs) Hey, there's nothing like... Owning multiple homes at the same time and selling one and living in one. I did it yeah. earlier this year. It's absolute pain. I've done it too. Yeah, he's done it. Andrew Sherman, I'm a big fan of Benelli and FN. Oh, nice. Uh, Andy, surprisingly, we have z- zero things from both of those companies. Yep, don't have anything FN or Benelli. That's we're, surprising. We're, we're, we're a Glock family. That's surprising <sighs> we don't have a... Yeah, we're a Glock family. Both of those companies make fantastic firearms. Of course they do, but we're a Glock family. To write a passage. <laughs> I've enjoyed these comments. Yeah. Not only does Texas have a lot of people, they have a lot of stupid people. That's like Ohio too. Yeah. <laughs> Doing Zealand Trail in the Whites next Wednesday. <laughs> we 
Dude, to go booze <laughs> is awesome. I hate that it took a pandemic for our governments to allow us to buy booze on the go. We're not drinking it in the car, people. Yeah. I just want to buy it in my car and bring it home. Yep. All right. Dave Fernandez to go margaritas are the best. I can go for to go margaritas. John Kelly, my wife never pays attention to this live stream. Then you said through margaritas. Hey, <laughs> so first we got to go booze in Ohio, and now some places have to go like drive through booze. Like, yeah. come on, you're not drinking while you're driving. I know. Like, so like Wendy's or McDonald's or Taco Bell needs to get on this train. Yeah. I really do hope they keep the, the at least yeah. the restaurant to go drinks around. I yeah. think. It's dumb. You couldn't do that. Just don't drink it while you're driving. Dave Just Fernandez. Bring it home. I got IPA growlers to go curbside earlier. Yep. Yeah. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Escape the indoors. I did a hundred mile section of the AT last week. The heat and humidity Dude. was so bad. I had to roll. Let us know where you were. <laughs> I had to roll of my, sh- I had I to roll, roll shorts. shorts into basically a song. So, Luckily so, the trail was pretty empty. Here's the thing. This time of the year. <laughs> terrible andy and i have done it this time of the year this is not a backpacking time of the year hit the rivers it's overgrown you got ticks you got bugs you got heat and heat and disease just like july and early august for us we just take it off yeah that's why we're filming barbecue videos Um, we, I've, this is, I think this is actually the first year that we've kind of like chilled out in July. Yeah, we normally we, try to wow, go, this is, this but we the, hate it. This is the first year in a while where we've had 95 degree days every day for weeks on end. Yeah. Uh, Margarita Christine says, Margarita's go for everyone. Absolutely. Zach, uh, <laughs> escape the indoors. That image is freaking hilarious. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm in New York. I can get meth easier than I can get firearms. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. I also saw a t-shirt I want to get that says smoke brisket, not meth. I want to get that. <laughs> um, okay. Andrew Sherman. Hey, I have a hiking question. We haven't got a hiking question in a while. I know we haven't. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, what type? Okay. What type of quilt do you guys currently use when tent camping? So when I'm, when I'm tent camping in the deep winter, I take a sleeping bag. Um, when I'm tent camping in the summer, which I haven't done yet, I'll take the Costco quilt. I have tent camped with the UGQ zero degree in the winter. It was fantastic. Um, in I, a in a tent with a quilt, when it's cold, I get annoyed by when I'm rolling around and the slits open on my side. So you might want to use some straps. In a hammock, uh, you don't get that. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't use a tent, so I can't comment. Just use a hammock. <laughs> Outdoor adventures. McDonald's and Wendy's can't even get more more on the, his order right. I can't imagine adding booze to the order. I know. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. I know. It's, it's a, a risk. risk. But $2. Could you imagine? I'll have a, Mc, a, a McDouble. I'll take a junior bacon cheeseburger. I'll take two McDoubles IPA. and a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The libertarian in me is fuming right now. <laughs> the, whole, the whole licensing of liquor. And, and Oh, here's another. And so uh, my coworkers were telling me that Taco Cab- there's a, I think there's a couple places that do this, but they actually have a happy hour from like five to seven where the drive through margaritas are even cheaper. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, it's a pandemic. We got to improvise. Yes. Keep these businesses alive. <laughs> Amy Rowe, what are people talking about to go margaritas? Definitely not in Utah, Amy. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Nope. <laughs> if you haven't been to Utah, they have the strictest liquor and booze laws of any state in the country because of the Mormon influence there. And um, uh, I forgot. Let's stick to <laughs> forget hiking question. Let's stick to go bo- to go. Bo- <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, we're winding down. We can talk about anything. Um, Dave Fernandez. I ordered a UGQ quilt. Can't wait. Yep, that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, UGQ makes solid stuff. Um, Lisa says I have a wide hammock gear quilt. Ooh, a wide quilt. And don't have that's much. Yes, I have my uh my enlightened equipment top top quilt is wide. Yeah, that's right. And it's wide awesome. quilts are a, a way to go. <laughs> Allow that one. Yeah. Allow that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the best is, Mike, you even tried to like censor the F word and they still caught they you. They still caught it. Mike, <laughs> we allowed that one. Yeah. I, we'll let you have that one. Um, Joseph Schaefer, talk footwear. What do you wear? Uh, a like while hiking. And actually, so this is a good topic. Good and, and I, uh, I really need to thank Frozen for his uh, advice on yeah. this. So my ultra lone peaks, um, I have 3.5s, which were super popular everybody had them um they've worn out and uh, i was texting frozen i i i was 
afraid to get the the newer Lone Peaks, either the fours or the four point fives, because there's just been so many issues that people complain about with the fours. And then Frozen reassured me that the four point fives are solid. So I will be going with a new pair of Ultra Lone Peak four point fives. And you were using Solomon's last trip. Yeah, so um I've got a bunch of stuff. So I do a lot of trail running and I trail run in Solomon's. I have the Solomon Sense rides. I love them. I, I do like the Lone Peak 3.5s. They're really comfortable. I also have um, a pair of uh, Saucony Peregrines. I also have completely switched to waterproof Gore-Tex boots in the winter. You kind of have two. Yep. I think that's a solid thing. But yeah, so to answer your question, um, you heard about the Ultras. Um, and, and I have the Solomon sense rides. They're not as good as the ultras for hiking. I like them more for running. I like a different shoe for running versus hiking. Yep. Um, Utah, you can have one beer yeah, in dude, front of you. Just one. Utah has got a lot of awesome things. The but scenery, the, the scenery, fishing, the, the mountains, the towns, but the, the booze skiing. laws <laughs> are heavily Mormon influenced. We'll just say that. <laughs> yep. All right. Nicholas Hurley. All right. Is that, yeah, Nicholas Harley. How are you liking the Altiplex? Looking at the Pleximit or Altiplex, I like that the Altiplex doesn't have that top thing. Yeah. And seems so, to be roomier. Uh, Nicholas, if you're over six feet tall or if you just like more headroom, get the Altiplex. Um, I like it a lot. The Altiplex is a Pleximid made for taller people. So it kind of depends. Depends on your. The Altiplex is 15 ounces. I don't know what the Pleximid is, it's probably lighter. I think it's 16. I know. I think it's around there. Same. Yeah. You know, we, we had a good conversation about how the, uh, the alt, um, the Altiplex is a great tent and you like it a lot, but the, uh, the duplex Listen, for the 19 ounce, that's I'm, a I'm, freaking I'm, solid. The Altiplex is a great tent. And I love the fact that it weighs 15 ounces. The duplex weighs 20 ounces. The duplex is obviously way roomier than the Altiplex. I think it's easier to set up too. Um, it's, it's easy. Yeah. There's a less of a learning curve and there's le there's more tolerance on a shitty pitch cause you got two trekking poles. Um, but man, the duplex is a great tent, but the Altiplex, I mean, 15 ounces for a tent is insane to me. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. All right. B3 outdoors, uh, binging on Taco Bell booze is how you know you've reached rock. Hey bottom. man, no, I no. freaking love Taco Bell. Yeah. You're not at rock bottom. You're at the top of the world. Um, Outdoor Adventures says, I, I was afraid to. Hello, 4.5s are the epic. Yeah. <laughs> um, ink plots like uh, Lone Peak 4.5s are right on. Sounds like the 4.5s are the way to go. Yeah, I will be getting some. Dave says, keep, keep eating pork belly burnt ends and you'll need a wide coil. Dave, I'm making, I'm, <laughs> Dave, I'm making the pork belly burnt ends tomorrow. I'm probably going to film it. I just, there's so much sugar. I'm going to make them right, though. I'm going to make them sugary and caramely. Don't worry. Um, I think I'm trying zero shoes. I've um, seen a lot of stuff on those. Uh, David Gray loves the zeros. Yeah. Nicholas Harley did 60 miles with 4.5s on at the, uh, oh, on the AT through Georgia. No blisters, no foot pain, but dang, I have to glue the side of the sole back up already. Yeah. I think um, the soles moving around seems to be a consistent issue. Yeah, that's a I, common thing. I glued mine too. I never glued mine. Yeah, I glued didn't mine. Have, didn't have many problems. Um, escape the indoors. The temp 2.0s are pretty awesome. Also feel closer to the Lone Peak 3.5s than the newer Lone Peaks, in my opinion. That's good feedback. Justin Outdoor has been using Topo Terra Ventures and Mountain Racers, and the Mountain Racers are okay. awesome for hiking. No, I've never heard of that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Mike K. Been testing Ultra Temps. May try them on my trip this week. Um. Keep the indoors. Love the topo build, but arch is more than the ultras, which sucks for That's flat feet. That's interesting because I don't have flat feet. I've got arched feet. Inkblot's life waiting on my Pleximid four for weeks. like four weeks. Yeah. Wow. That sounds about I didn't right. I they had that much lead time right now. Um, um, Z-Packs. Z-Packs non-pandemic usually is made to order. Yeah. Or like they've got them in stock. Rob Wright got a pair of Topo trail shoes like Ultra and Hoka. Hoka had a kid. So what oh, are like, these Topo oh, trail yeah. shoes? I've never heard of these. I've Let never heard of these. these. Tons of people are are talking about these. I've never heard of these. Yeah. Topo, Topo trail shoes? <laughs> like Hoka. Hoka's and Ultra's had a baby. That'd be weird because Hoka's have insane. Topo athletic. I've never heard of these. 
We'll have to check these out. A lot of you guys in the comments are liking them. Yeah, Topo. Wow. Interesting. Interesting that we've never heard of these. And we we follow a lot of runners on Instagram. <laughs> Nobody's sponsored by Topo. Nobody's sponsored by Topo. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That dude has jacked calves. <laughs> they look like hokas. Yeah, they do look like hokas. They got that color scheme. Yeah. Looks like they have some pretty Interesting. serious Interesting. We'll have arch. to check these out. Yeah. Always looking to buy new shoes. That's always new shoe day is always fun. Yeah. Um uh B3 out talk Z packs into Dyneema pop up tent. Talk Z packs into making a Dyneema pop up tent. Yeah, I know, right? Uh please make a video on the burn ends. I will. Andrew, I will. Uh Joanna I to- bought like I bought like a super fancy piece of meat. Like the fanciest piece of meat I've ever bought. I bought it from like a boutique butcher and they they butchered it right in front of me. They didn't obviously kill the pig, but they took the shank of the pig and they butchered the belly off of it right in front of me. It was pretty cool to watch. Sorry if you're vegan or vegetarian and don't like hearing about that. You can get some Beyond Meat burn-ins. No, you can't. <laughs> it was cool. Though. I mean, listen, we're all about being connected to your food. Yeah. And it was cool to see the butchering of the pork belly up close. You know, yeah. they're like, "Do you want the skin on?" I'm like, "No, I don't want the skin on." And they cut the they cut the ribs off. It like. It wasn't bloody or gory. It, it was it was interesting from a meat perspective to watch. Uh, Justin outdoors. Uh, Topo is great. Or yeah, Topo is a wide foot box, so, but some ha, some have zero drop and some have small drops. So. Sounds similar to Ultra. Mm. Zach Jenkins, are you guys checked out of the? You guys checked out the Patagonia Airshed Airshed Pro. Are you guys checked I out? Almo- I almost oh. bought. I almost bought this. So let me let me talk about the Airshed Pro and why we haven't bought it yet. Almost, but did. we will. Yeah, we we will. Um, the, so the Airshed Pro, one of my complaints on the Airshed Pro is it's got they it's instead of a loose fit, it's, a, it's an athletic fit, which makes sense for why they designed it. Yeah. So it's more contoured, more tight. Um, I, it's got a hood, right? Yeah. It's got a hood and it zips up to your like chin. Uh, I'm not crazy about the athletic fit stuff, but might be worth it in that. But again, it's, it's, it's designed for, you know, trail running. So yeah. Makes sense, but yeah, I think we're gonna get the uh, the Airshed Pro. It's pretty awesome, and I uh, remember when I they, almost bought it. Who was that? Was that Hunter Musgrove? Yeah, it was Hunter. We were going back and forth. Uh, with Hunter, Hunter um, he's Instagram, got one. Instagram messaged us like when the pandemic started because we had been bought one. They were on sale for crazy cheap. We were taught. I remember when we first got the Airsheds. We were like, you know, what would make this sweet. Is a hood. hood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Have you got uh, Jared says? Have you? Considered doing any backpacking trips in the White Mountains? Of course, we have. Um, Just Jared, can't get over there. We right almost now. did our big trip in the Whites, but at the time, and looking back on it, wouldn't have been a big deal. But at the time, coronavirus was crushing the Northeast. Now the Northeast is fine, and we just wanted to hit up West Virginia. But the the Whites were like second on the list, and we we really want to go there. Um, Justin Outdoors says the Viber Mega Grip Soul is a game changer. Must be on those topos. Arcana. Yeah. I feel like an outsider. I'm wearing Merrill. No hey, Merrill makes Merrill's a good great. shoe, man. Yeah. Merrill, Merrill makes a fantastic. good shoe. Fantastic. Lisa says Dixie's supposed to be trying out the topos. Awesome. Dave says, I'm not vegan. More meat and booze talk, please. Hey, man. We'll do it. <laughs> Christine says, have you tried Brooks Cascadia's? I've tried. Uh, uh, um, uh, no. no. Um, Bryce hates them, though. <laughs> Bryce wore them and got mad blisters. And he, uh, they're very popular shoe. Yeah, he, very popular. I, he trail runs in them and he likes them for trail running. But he's got a few trip videos out there where he he, he trashes on them. So I don't know. Mike says nothing better than real butcher yeah, shops. Dude. I never buy meat at a grocery store. Um, yeah, it was cool. Uh, it's obviously significantly more expensive to buy from a local butcher shop, but. I mean, part of this is, you know, let's support these local businesses during this time and the meat quality is much better. So, uh, if you're, if you're trying to make a prime quality cut of meat, you cannot beat a local butcher store. If you're learning, like I did, I start, I learned on some stuff from Costco. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try this, um, this pork belly from the, like literally from a pig, like a couple miles away from me. That's pretty cool. Mark just got here. Have we talked about this tan? (laughs) Are you tan? Uh, a little bit. Oh, escape the indoors. I've been using the Rab Pulse hoodie. Uh, Rab makes good stuff, yeah. dude. Um, uh, Four ounces? Well, yeah. Remember Becker was 
Becker was telling Raba us. Raba makes got, good stuff. Very popular in Europe. Four ounces. I got to check that out. Um, Becker was telling us he got the Rab rain. I think he's got a couple of videos out there. He's got the Rab rain jacket that's like five ounces. Something crazy light. Yeah. B3 Outdoors wins the next backpacking food tasting. I don't know. Honestly, there's food. You can't see it. There's literally nutrient food sitting right in front of us that we haven't tasted yet that I was going to taste on this live stream. But the conversation has gone elsewhere. We, we will do that. So here's a good question. Andrew Sherman, do you like your Garmin inReach SE that's sitting above your head? Yeah. Um, yes, I do. Um, I will say, though, if you're, if you're always going to have your phone with you, you can probably get away with the Garmin inReach Mini. Um, might be if if you're gonna have your phone and be able to Bluetooth to it, the mini will do everything that this can do. But it's nice to be able to not have to rely on your phone. But yeah, I do like it. There are some other companies now, like this Bivy Stick stuff. Yeah. There are some other GPS companies that are worth looking into. But the nice thing about the Garmin is, when I use it, just fire it up. You can fire up the subscription for a month, and you don't have to pay for a yearly thing. So mm-hmm. and um. Yeah, it's worth having. Dear list. Brisket and Glenn Levitt. Nice. Oh, man. That sounds uh, Glenn Levitt. Is that a scotch? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Brisket's so good. The uh, tan pops on, on camera. It pops. Nice. Good. Here's the deal. <laughs> we, we, I, we had our makeup done before this. Here's the deal. <laughs> you guys know I run a lot, and there's no cloud cover now in Ohio. So I get fried, and I run in the early morning. So I, I this is from running. Um, Zach says, I tried Stowaway Gourmet. I've never heard of that. Based I've never on heard of either, Kelly's but JK says it's good. The Thai shrimp curry was freaking amazing. That sounds pretty good. Um, Andrew, oh, getting the SC for 220 at Costco. That's solid. Yeah. That's a solid. You got to scroll oh, all crap. the way down. This touch screen. You like the touch screen though, don't you? Yeah, it's nice, but it you just can't touch it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Battery. side note, there was a Nutrisystem commercial when I started watching your stream. Really? They're doing commercials. Oh, that's Nutrisystem. That's not nutrient food. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> they're, they're, they're different things. Yeah, their their macros failed. Nutrisystem, that's so funny. <clears throat> um, battery life is better on the SE. I have a mini, no complaints. That. Yeah. Yeah, the SE is going to have a bigger battery than the mini, but yeah, um, Amy route. I'm thinking about buying the inReach mini. Yeah. If you're going to always have your phone. Now here's the thing. If you're, well, the thing is if your phone fails, you can still use the SOS function on the mini, but if your phone fails, you're not going to be texting people. Um, Whoa. John said, JK says the, uh, the beer bison, black bean chili from, yeah, I've never heard of this stowaway stowaway gourmet or stowaway something. It sounds good. We're, uh, we're always into new food. Not have it, not have to rely on your phone is actually a good point. had to hit my friend's SOS on his mini, and keeping the Bluetooth. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. In the pain. mini, if you still have to be Bluetooth to a phone during SOS, that is a pain in the ass. So the, 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 the in reach is nice. You don't need a phone. Um, SA one Zolio is supposed to be the big new satellite deal. I don't know what that is. Um, Zolio. I've heard of Zolio. Yeah. There's a lot of new, um, satellite GPS companies. Zolio. I've heard of, uh, Bivy stick is her is so that that's good because the shit's too expensive and the more companies that are out there, the cheaper to get for us consumers. Marco says, have you ever tried any of the polar watches? No, I've no. not. Um, I have not, but polar is, a, is known as a solid brand. Andy. <laughs> Joseph Schaefer says Andy must be, use SPF 2000. <laughs> He's pretty pale. <laughs> yeah. If you look at the feed, I am much tanner than you. I, I also I, have a pool. I don't own a pool, but I have a pool. I have access to, I go to. Yeah. I, I don't, all my working out and running is indoors, so um, escape the indoors. Both suck to type on, but much better on the SE Explorer. Okay, yeah, I could see that. John JK, I'm using Azolio right now. I don't I've never heard of. I've it, heard of Azolio. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, we've hit the end of the comments. We've been going almost two hours. What an hour and a half. An hour and forty one minutes. Um, I think it's time. This was fun. Yeah, yeah. Good um, job. Uh, solid comment section. Yeah, comments were popping. Comments tonight. were popping. Appreciate it. 
Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. A few weeks. Um, I don't know. A few weeks. Pro- not next week. Um, but we'll be back. We'll keep doing this. This is fun for us. So yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks everybody. For thanks everybody. Us. No. Thanks for uh, participating in the comments and thanks to Dan and, and uh, uh, Frozen. Frozen for coming in. This is yeah. really fun. It's always fun to to catch up with everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we enjoy doing these. Thanks for the good participation. Yeah. Everybody. Um, stay safe wherever you are. Wear your mask. Wear your masks. Um. Stay safe. Have fun. We'll yes. Yeah, get some margaritas to go. Get some margaritas to go. Get some barbecue. <laughs> support your local butcher shops. Yeah. And buy backpacking gear. And buy backpacking gear. And we'll see everybody on the next one. Boom.